Sean Chow here from SeanChow.com, and I am at Restaurant D Savoir here at the Caesar Palace Hotel. We're just sitting down with uh, Kelly Milan, uh, Gio Baverka, Don Baverka, and Kevin Klaus. Now, Don is looking at the wine book. It's not a wine list, it's a wine, wine book. book. That's what it is. Now, Don, what is the most expensive bottle of wine in there that you see? Right now, I'm looking at the, uh, the, 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 the by the glass. Yeah. You can pick what? up a crude rosé rhymes for a hundred dollars a glass. Hundred dollars for one glass. Hundred dollars a glass. There you go. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Let's, let's, you should get a bottle. Probably cheaper. Hey, he said there were some incredible <laughs> bargains in here. I mean, Charles. The wine book here, is so big and heavy. It comes with its own little it's pedestal. Right. And I look at the whole book, and so far, looks like the most expensive bottle of wine is only thirty-six thousand dollars. Uh, nah, that's too cheap for me. I'm not gonna order it. Opening palate cleanser is foie gras with uh, basically foie gras, some sea salt, and some bread. It's really, I mean, it's foie gras, so I'm not gonna complain. Cheers. Mmm, wow. Uh, Melts in your mouth. That's awesome. And then you're gonna find the sunshock break with the sunshock puree. Okay? Wow. Right on. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Wild squash, pheasant, duck, duck foie gras, and cabbage stuff. Look, look, read here. Due to the use of wild game on this dish, please be aware that there may be buckshots. Buckshots found in the meat. <laughs> so originally, we were going to go for this prestige tasting menu for $385 a person plus a $20 wine pairing. However, it requires the entire table order order this menu. But because uh, Carolina is a vegetarian and Jill and Don have some dietary requirements, uh, we can't order this. So we're gonna have to go for the regular a la carte menu. So I'm looking at the color of caviar for $95, the sheer flour gras for $75, and then for my main course, I'm thinking of going for the uh, Snick River Farm American Wagyu Rip Cap for $110. And whatever dessert they have. And the stroke of genius decided that we should make our own tasting menu by ordering every appetizer. We divide it among, among us, right? So you guys have your appetizer, your individual one appetizer. We order, how many do we got? Five? Five total. Five appetizers, and they're able to split it between us. So, you know, yeah, there we go. Awesome, and we got a main course. Yes. That's good stuff. Yeah, excellent, and then I'll come right back. Mm -hmm. All right, oh, before you do that, let's do a toast. Everyone, here's to a successful supercharge. Alright. That's gonna be a good picture too. Oh, yeah. Alright. So that's our supercharged summit? Alright. So many more. Many more. Alright. The room is intimate but very open and extremely tall. Like the ceiling is a good I don't know, 30, 40 feet? I'd say close to 30, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a good height, that's for sure. Yeah. It's not echoey in here. Yeah, and I don't know how they're able to eliminate the echoes. It must be the wood paneling that's doing it. They must have put some absorption material in there. What is that? Butter. Butter. It's, the butter. it's a mountain of butter. Exactly. So wow. The butter is very special. It's from Ishire, which is a French butter, okay? French butter. So a lot of flavor and very creamy. Wow. Wow. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to serve it plain on the table for you to try it plain, okay? okay. Then after, if you want to add sea salt, you have sea salt on the table. Oh, of course. What an experience. It's like scooping ice cream. I know. Almost. Almost, yeah. I've never seen anything like that. That's not me either. Hi. It looks like ice cream. I, I can't believe I'm. I can't believe I'm doing a video of butter. <laughs> Milky grain and fennel baguette, rosemary fugaz, sardo, black olive, bacon, onion, milk bread, it's like a brioche, cherry pecan, honey. All those that you see here, that you shake differently, is how it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna. Could I, could I try two different tastes? Yeah. Uh, I'd like to try the olive and the rosemary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to let him decide for me. Yeah. You can choose for me what, what you can actually have. <laughs> so rosemary and black olive. Crispy sesame seed and a pico radish. 
We're going to finish it with seven of carrot soup. There you go. Amish Bush. This is the palate cleanser. Oh, okay. Whoa. Nice. Let's give this a try. So I want to film somebody's reaction. So I want to film Jill's reaction to her tasting this. It's good. It's good? Yeah. Really good. Wow. All right. Let's get a uh, let's get Kevin's reaction. First time trying the Amush Bush. Very very good. All right. So let's try this. Oh, that is amazing. True. Right now, this is on the same level as your Rubichon. This is my color of caviar. And then on the side you have toasted mushroom brioche with black truffle butter melted over the top. Wow. And Chef recommends sticking up the brioche and dipping it into the soup. Oh, and then we move into the colors of caviar here. Bottom layer is caviar vinaigrette. Top with the caviar creme fresh mixture, then a fine green bean and caviar puree. Golden royal ocetra caviar and at the table there we top it with a caviar sabayo. So just like a classic parfait, try and get a little bit of each layer with each bite for the different temperatures, textures, and acidity. Okay. Notice that the color of caviar is served on a mother of pearl spoon because that's the only way to serve caviar. Anything else would be un-French. <laughs> oh man, that, that is amazing. All right, so Carolina, did you just say this is the best soup ever? Best soup ever. Best soup ever, hey? It so happens that I love artichoke, so. It, it, but it's also the most expensive soup you ever had. And yes, it is the most expensive Perfect. soup ever. <laughs> but worth it. Every dollar. She had the beet gelé on the outskirts with yeah. three different colors of beet puree and a Dungeness crab vinaigrette. Uh, thinly sliced beets that are roasted with the Dungeness crab salad and the crispy beet shaving salad. Outstanding. Awesome, thank you. Your yes. assessment of this dish? I think it's pretty incredible, and I'm not really a big fan of beets, but you know everything just works perfectly together. Yeah. The crab vinaigrette. Uh, I, I would never try beet with crab, crab cake. Yeah, that interesting combination, but it works. New wine? This is from Rutherford Hill from the Napa Valley. It's actually oh, San Alina. Oh my gosh. Zig here, the top layer at the very top is organic chicken. And you have your foie gras and artichoke with double layers of the same uh, for the terrine. Then uh, black truffle too uh, in front of it, sea salt and cracked pepper, and then a little panda company and toast at the top of it. Excellent, thank you. Wow. All right, let's try this. <laughs> That's really good. Wow. That's good. Wow. Roasted potato soup. So potatoes in there, yep. and you pour the, the stock in there, and okay. that's our soup. Yes, sir. And that's... we'll let it steep here for a few moments while you enjoy the rest of your, this course. Okay. Wow. That's... So it's like, it's like kind of like the essence of potato. Because yeah. the potato was in there, and it, it poured a broth through. Potato tea. <laughs> Fusion. And we're waiting, and it's, it's being heated by a single candle. Sheer oh, flood Thank you. Yeah, that's what I was missing. So oh, sheer yeah. flood gras, roasted oh. salsa fi underneath, yeah. salsa fi chips, and then the duck consommé. Oh, okay, so that's oh, what that's the potato what soup was for. There you go. Wow. Wow. Please enjoy. Thank you. Oh, so you got sheer flood gras, <laughs> and that potato soup that was cooking was basically the, the base for this. Uh, I never say no to flood gras. I was on. Kevin, yes. what do you think? I think it's phenomenal. It's one of my favorite things so far. Yeah, never seen another foie gras. This is a foie gras. It's a goose liver with potato, potato ling, and potato soup. Bon appetit. <laughs> wow. That's really good. You know, foie gras, caviar, and truffle are the three luxurious French ingredients. And so far today, tonight, I can sample them all. Black truffle soup, shavings of black truffle and shavings of aged Parmesan cheese. Wow. On the side, a mushroom we are toasted and topped with truffle butter. So you can take it with your finger and dip it right into the soup. Okay. Oh, I plan to. <laughs> yes. Wow. 
So truffle butter, black truffle soup. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what he says. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip it. I'm gonna dip it. All right, so uh, I'm gonna film my own reaction. Actually, I'm gonna film his reaction for the first time here. I'm just tasting the broth first. You're, gonna, you're just tasting it the I'm soup by itself. It All right. Gross reaction. Yeah, that is very nice. Definitely. Uh, I think I'm going to have a truffle in it. Whip the truffle. So, whip a black truffle right here. First time. No oh, damn. Wow. You gotta try the bread. That that is crazy. I'm gonna dip it with the bread and, and try that. Try that. So that that's crazy. That that is nuts. This bread is truffle infused here, and I'm gonna dip it in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh, that's yeah. it. That hits the spot oh, yeah. right there. <laughs> that's it. Wow, wow. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Now, this is a steak knife. Right there. That yeah. What is this? Very hot. Isn't that? Mashed potato. Ah, so this is Guy Savoy's signature dish. It is the it is a sheer swordfish and it's cooked skin side down and the skin is still on, but not only the skin is still on, the scale is still on the fish. So apparently the scale is edible, so Guy doesn't let it go to waste. He doesn't he doesn't descale it. So Carolina is gonna enjoy some scale. <laughs> <laughs> The rib cap is on the left hand side with the shallot and eggplant condiments. The center is a 72 hour slow cooked short rib with eggplant puree. And then you have an eggplant terrine on the right hand side. The plate was dusted with eggplant powder and then a sauce bordelaise to finish. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Just smelling it is amazing. And I've got baby pears. Uh, baby pears. You're looking forward to it, eh? Uh, I, I want to film someone's reaction of who's going to take the first bite. Here we go. All right, so Carolina is going to try the signature dish of ghee sawa. Oh my gosh, this is really mm. Let's try the fish in the foam first. Fish in the foam, yeah. Cheers. Mm. Wow. So many flavors. So, uh, yeah. Pretty damn good. Wow. And done. <laughs> there you go. All right, so Jill, what did you order, Jill? I have the venison. Oh, you have the venison. It has miniature pears encrusted with almonds, All right. and uh, and it's, it's so. Hard. Give it a try. I really need the knife to cut it. Wow. All right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's happy. She's happy. Oh, she's happy. Right. She right. And you're, you're gonna try the eggplant first? Yeah, I'm diving right into the eggplant. Yeah, bite bite the eggplant. Cause I, I, I normally. I do too. So I know I got, I got a lot of. Paper fat of eggplant, but the, I see the way how he prepares it. Yeah? Very good. I don't know how you yeah, Alright, right, so I am going to. I think I'm going to try the steak first. So this is the A. This is the Wagyu. The Wagyu beef. Oh man. That beef is so good. Wow. Aren't they good? What do you try the beef? It's really good. Is it? Oh yeah. I can't wait. All right. Oh, they do have braised short ribs. Mm. Oh, oh man. I braised short ribs. That that's it. It melts in your mouth. Literally melts in your mouth. Amazing. Kevin is gonna try the first time for the um, the wagyu cut there. Yeah, absolutely. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's kind of, you don't even have to chew it. Mm -hmm. It just melts in your mouth. And the, the short rib, I like the short rib even more. Try the short rib. It is insane. Oh, I did. You did? Yeah, yeah that, that was insane. Yeah, that was fabulous. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. here, the dessert <laughs> menu. Dessert menu, coconut six way, carrots and orange, chocolate fondant. I mean, I just had five appetites. Not sure if I can even handle this. But what I did notice was, was the final drink. Look at this, Louis the 13th. Yeah, the bottle is 
Yeah, two, one ounce, two seventy five. Two ounces, five hundred dollars. One century in a bottle. Each decanter takes four generations of cellar masters over one hundred years to craft. Wow, there we go. It's not expensive enough for you. We have here, we have here the hardy perfection. One ounce, one ounce, eight hundred dollars. Here's another one. Uh, Hennessy Eclipse, one ounce, eight hundred dollars. Ooh, it's a price of it's a price of what? Right, so crazy. Yeah. So dessert drinks, dessert liqueur. Oh, they got tequila, seventy-five dollar tequila. Wow, cool. Oh, there you go. There you go. We found a good one here. Oh, it's the, it's the port. Three hundred and seventy-three milliliters. Twelve hundred dollars. My American friends is Guy Sava, not Guy Savoy. Okay? Guy Sava is French. So this is the Amuse Bouche for the dessert. Yes, they have that here. Crazy. Oh, you've got this little. It practically is a dessert, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it, it might as well be the dessert as well. It's lemon ice with a raspberry. It's great. It's the dessert before the dessert. Yep. That's what it is. Yeah. So this is the coconut six ways. I'm looking at it. It looks like two ways at the moment, because I always see is that and the rest and, of the and ways the, are the rest of the ways inside under the foam. Wow, that's interesting. Four ways under the foam. Four oh, ways. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, look at this thing. Voilà. So this is a chocolate pendant classic, Monsieur Bissabon. John, that would be easy to spray on my. Yes. Look at that. This is looks amazing and perfectly divided. So we got two pieces because I'm gonna split the dessert with Carolina. So this is easy to divide. How we are gonna divide that, I'm not so sure. I'm just gonna eat half of it and leave the other half for you. Okay, that'll work. Is that coconut? I mean, yes and no. I mean, it's not a coconut. Made of coconut, but it's some kind of cracker made of coconut. It's unbelievable. This wafer has chocolate. Caramel and a whole bunch of stuff, and it's really, really good. Some of you are probably thinking, is this worth 30 bucks? It's not the point. I mean, it, from a pure cost standpoint, no, it's not worth 30 bucks. But you're be. paying for the experience more than anything else. Uh, you see, but it he's saying be. it might be worth 30 bucks. It might be worth 30 I haven't took a bite of it yet, so I'm not sure. It's pretty good, John. All right, so I will take a bite of it now. Well, look, I, I'll, I will decide right now this is worth 30 bucks. Okay, it's worth 30 bucks. <laughs> yeah, that, it, it is, it is. Trust me. Order it. Coconut six ways. Coconut six ways, right here. Yeah, it's, it's clean, it's refreshing. And after the sweetness of that chocolate fondant, it's good. This, like the contrast? This, is a, this is a good contrast right here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good way, great way to end it. Great way. We're not finished yet, we have the dessert cart. Ice cream, ice nut ice cream, raspberry sorbet. Wow. Uh, I, I am done. I mean, oh, I think we're done. I, I verify we'll actually say no, but I am actually full. Wow. Thank you very much. It's been magnificent. Thank you. That kind of reminds me of high end dim sum. <laughs> they bring it to the car. Would you like some hot gauss, Mike? <laughs> this is the final course. It is the palate cleanser. Now that we finish this meal, this will cleanse our palate so we can ready to do it again, I suppose. Yeah. To an amazing meal. Ah. Wow. That is a palate cleanser. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Okay, we uh, we kind of split up the bill, you know. So, and anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's even though we split the bill up, it's still scary. It's uh, yeah. So I, I guess with with tips and stuff, it's like almost I guess eight fifty. Yeah. Okay. There you go. But well worth it. Well worth it. Louis the Thirteenth. It's behind this bulletproof glass. <laughs> this is tonight's restaurant. It is a 2012 restaurant of the year by a dessert companion. They have won numerous awards, including two Michelin stars, their five diamond award, the Grand Spectre Grand Award, and the Forbes five star awards.